In this lesson, you will learn about wolves and moose living in the northern part of the United States. You will observe the habitat of the animals. You will see what each animal might depend on for food and see what skills or body parts each animal might need to be healthy in order to be able to get enough food to survive. This lesson is divided into three parts. In the first part, you'll observe wolf, moose, and plants of Isle Royal. In part two, you'll observe moose of different ages, different locations, and different groupings to develop a hypothesis about the moose and the wolves. And in part three, you'll observe moose bones and develop hypotheses about the bones, just like scientists do at Isle Royal today. The first part of this video is about four minutes long. As you watch, record and discuss everything you see that might be related to the survival of wolves or moose. Our journey begins on an island, a large island, larger than the whole Washington DC area. This island is in a place that we know as planet Earth. The island is also in North America, where you see those great big lakes. Those big lakes are in the northern part of the United States and the biggest lake, the lake on the top left, is called Lake Superior. In the middle of Lake Superior there's an island and the island's called Isle Royal. On this island there's a research station. This is where scientists observe wolves and moose and they've been doing this since before your parents were born. This is the home of the wolf moose study on predators and prey.
pause the video here. So what did you notice? Discuss the questions below, share your ideas with your classmates and teacher, and record any new ideas that you did not have before you watched the movie. So here are some questions. How do the moose travel? Are they alone together? What did you see that the moose might eat? Was there anything the moose might eat that might require special body parts? Was there anything the moose might eat that would be difficult to eat if their bodies were old or injured? Now think about the wolves. How do the wolves travel? What did you see that the wolves might eat? Was there anything wolves might eat that might require special body parts? Was there anything wolves might eat that would be difficult to eat if the wolves' bodies were old or injured? Share your thoughts and observations with your teacher. You are then ready to move on to part two. Part two, wolf preferences. You have made and discussed your observations. Now it is time to develop some hypotheses. Of the moose that Eric was able to video on the island, which one do you think the wolves would prefer to hunt? In the next section of the video, look closely at the moose from five different locations. As you observe the moose, develop, discuss, and write a hypothesis that begins, I think the wolves would prefer to hunt the blank moose from location blank because what comes after the because will be your evidence or observations that support your theory or support your hypothesis on which moose you think the wolves would prefer to hunt and why.
like a baby. The baby's just a little bit farther away than the mommy. Pause the video now. Complete your hypothesis about which moose you believe the wolves would prefer to hunt. Share your hypothesis with your classmates and teacher. Check to see if all your evidence supports your hypothesis. And check to see if your evidence is really observations and not just opinions or ideas. How would you test to see if your hypothesis was correct? First, discuss your ideas with your classmates, parents, or teachers. Then, watch the next section of the video to see how scientists today are making observations to see if your hypothesis or another hypothesis is the correct one. See how scientists are learning which moose wolves prefer to hunt.